Today we're each going to be attempting to eat six crazy waffle creations while also determining who brought the more epic parents. Yeah, now we don't know what each other brought, but we do know it is a lot of food. Now Pete's going to kick off round one, which must utilize a jar of cinnamon toast crunch bread. What did you bring? All right, to go with that, the whole reason I'm going first, I brought ice cream, which is pie by Milk Bar, which has gooey butter, gooey butter filling and toasted oat crust. Never had it. And then for texture, I brought some cinnamon maple granola. That's gonna be awesome. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, everybody loves the new jar feel, so let me show Cinnamon Toast Crunch Spread. I've had it on the channel. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Check out this texture. Instantly beautiful aroma in here. Check this out. This looks like it's going to be amazing. Yep. Okay. And I'm instantly reminded of just how good that cinnamon toast crunch bread is just by tasting this boot. All right, check it out. This looks sick. That cinnamon toast crunch bread is just, is just seeping into, the, into those things. Okay. Oh. Oh, are you kidding? That's working. Mm-hmm. All right, let's Ooh. bounce. And the boys are back and we are eating waffles today and I'd say that we are starting on a very strong note, but trust us, things get crazier and crazier in this video, so strap in. Yeah, but I think that this creation was absolutely amazing. You did a great job with it. I feel like if you added apple pie filling to the mix, it would have been like the ultimate apple crisp experience. And then those flavors on like the warm waffle with the cold ice cream was such a comforting bite of food. Yes, but definitely messy with all the melting ice cream. Okay, that ice cream was ready to melt. <laughs> yes, well these are also actually warm and so it instantly melted the ice cream, but it did also make the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bread soft, which was so good. The whole thing was amazing, texturally, flavor-wise, everything worked. What do you got for round one? I just have to say that you nailed it. Amazing, you. amazing, amazing job. Okay, for my round one, of course, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bread, and then I brought Cinnabon Cine Snacks from Sonic which apparently are filled with like a cinnamon, like a cinnamon roll goo. And then for a little bit of texture, I brought Cinnabon, um, like cinnamon cereal snacks as like an extra topping. Nice. Now these things do come with a little thing of cream cheese frosting, but I think that counts as one item seeing that they do come with the cinnamon. Each round we had a limit of three items each to go on top of the waffles. Yes. Okay, well I already showed them uh, the cinnamon toast crunch bread, but I want to see what this filling looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna show them that before we assemble it. Here is the Cine snack. That is the inside. All right. It's visually very appealing. I am very excited about this. I think it turned out great. Hopefully it tastes as good as yours. That's an entire jar of Cinnamon Toast Crunch Spread down. Okay, check this out. Okay, I'm very excited. Probably doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person, but in person, I don't know. I'd be surprised. It it looks really good. Okay. Okay. Wait. I need to try this on itself so I understand it. Ooh. Oh, well, those are good. Those are real good. Those are from Sonic. Mm-hmm. And the cream cheese icing. I did it. This thing's sick. Let me show them the whole thing. Pound the whole thing. The initial reactions to this thing did not do it justice, but that's because it took a few bites in to get all of the ingredients together, but once you did, it was unmatched. You've got fluffy, crispy, gooey, creamy. The thing was just an explosion of textures and cinnamon roll flavor. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It definitely read as four toppings more so than three, but I guess that's just really good strategy, and it definitely benefited from the inclusion of the cream cheese frosting. It was literally the icing on the waffle. I didn't anticipate this being as messy as it is. But holy cow, that was unbelievable. I was not sure how cinnamon roll it was gonna feel rather than just being cinnamon. And I love cinnamon rolls. And I would eat that over a cinnamon roll any day. It was that good. That was amazing. I loved the cold quality of mine, but I think overall the eating experience and the flavors, the way it all played together, 
I think I'm giving the round to you. Thanks. I, I was I felt the same, and so I'm happy it worked out that we both had the same opinion. But my goodness, I can't I cannot even begin to explain just how incredible that was. Yeah. Do you want to go up next? Um, no. Well, well, let's let's have you go first. I went first the uh, first round. Okay. So the next round is the overload round, and so every single ingredient that we brought has to have like the same flavor profile. So if we were, if it was if one of us brought like peanut butter, everything had to be completely peanut butter flavored. So what I did is I am doing the chocolate hazelnut overload. Toss this down, which is chocolate hazelnut spread, chocolate hazelnut truffles, and chocolate hazelnut rolled wafer rolls. I'm surprised, because Nutella is never a go-to for us. It's not, but people have been wanting to see it for a while, and I want to give it another chance, and so I'm thinking that we've got to do that. But again, new jar feel. I'll give you guys the visual. Maybe I'll get a new spoon, just so you don't have to see the last one. Okay, I don't know how practical this was gonna be. We may not have to eat all of the wafer rolls on the waffle. Yeah. Definitely difficult to figure out a placement for things. Yes. Okay. We're gonna have a couple extra. But this is chocolate hazelnut overload, no doubt. Check it out. Ferrero truffles on there, the wafer rolls, and a whole lot of Nutella. Right, give it a shot. Let's go. Well, that's chocolate hazelnut, all right. Undoubtedly so. This is the least practical yet, though, for sure. My initial plan was to only go with one of these crunchy toppings and add chocolate hazelnut ice cream, but neither store that I went to had any, and so I had to double down on the textural elements. Unfortunately, it didn't work in my favor. Maybe if we had crushed them up or something. I need to eat a couple things off of this <laughs> so I can find a more practical way to go about it. I think I figured it might out. It's kind of the taco route. These rolled wafer rolls, or these wafer rolls, are unbelievably good. The combination of those with the uh, Nutella is phenomenal. So good. Okay. Got it. All right. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we're not typically big Nutella fans ourselves. We kind of find it to be an overrated spread. We're more Biscoff and peanut butter guys ourselves, but I am really happy that we got to give it a shot again on these waffles. And I think that I could be sold on Nutella as a spread if they made a crunchy version that utilized the textures that we were getting from the Ferrero in it. That is an incredible idea. You can't go wrong with that texture. I think I had food on my face that entire time. That was such a mess. So unbelievably rich, so unbelievably decadent, but it was delicious. I think that the wafer rolls and the waffle itself were definitely helping pull back the reins on that richness just a little bit and making it tolerable. <clears throat> yep, I totally agree. I really enjoyed the flavors overall and the textures. <coughs> when you got a bite of all the ingredients together, it was excellent, just kind of uncomfortable to eat. Eatability, it got a zero. All right, gotta keep moving. I'm gonna switch plates because this one's getting pretty messy. Yes. All right, so for my overload, I went with turtle, which for the millionth time on the channel is caramel, chocolate, and pecans. So to go with that, I brought in, because I tried to save some money, the pecan turtle sauce we had in last week's video. You should go watch that video if you have not yet. I brought turtle cheesecake cups. Oh, so essentially, as caramel, pecans, chocolate chips, a nice thick layer of cheesecake mousse and some chocolate cookie crumb. And what was the last thing I brought? Some rich turtle brownies. Dude, this is a this is a fun idea of going all, all turtle ingredients. And caramel, caramel, pecan, pecan, we know. All right, but it is because it also is an overload round, but you get three ingredients in one. Are we sharing one cup? No. Oh, okay. All right, let's make this thing. Oh, let me show them this. Let me show them these two things first because they, they've got to see. So this delicious cheesecake thing, and then check out this brownie. We've had these before, and they are rich as can possibly be. Big Double time. layered, filled with caramel caramel.
I wonder if this could possibly be more rich than mine with <laughs> having those brownies on it. It's possible. Wow. Okay, take a look. This looks far, far easier to eat than mine did. Watch out with your face because they autofocus. Looks delightful. Give it a shot. Dang. You that, win. You win. That's something, man. That's good. All right, I think you already gave it away. This one's got to go in the top three, no doubt. I mean, never mind that trio of flavors, the textures you're getting from the creamy cheesecake, the chewy brownie, the crunchy pecans, the thicker caramel, the syrup. This thing just takes you on a journey. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you really benefited from how much of that cheesecake they put in those cheesecake mousse cups because all the other creations had those like really thick spreads going on them. And this didn't have that. It had more of that light, airy cheesecake and it just went down extremely easily because of it. All right, like I said, you won. I don't have much else to say, but the, uh, the, like, the cheesecake mousse definitely helped take away a lot of the richness of those brownies. Helped it go down, helped break it all down. Delicious, especially like with the uh, regular caramel being in that <coughs> cup and then that caramel being so different. Really, really awesome. I loved it. Who's first for the final round? <coughs> Sorry, got a little funny from that. Um, I'll go first. Okay, man. Sounds good. All right, so the final round, round number three, we went international. So we basically just had to take any international dessert we felt like recreating onto a waffle and do that very thing. And so what I did, waffle on plate, is I'm going to be doing a cannoli. Ooh. So I have ricotta cannoli filling, straight up cannoli <coughs> filling, mini chocolate chips, and then we will be topping that whole thing with mini cannolis. Look at that. I think that That's is going fun. to be a lot of fun. So I went Italian, of course. Well, that's a chocolate chip cannoli waffle if I've ever seen one. Yeah, <laughs> check this out. There was more cream in that little bag than I thought too. This thing's awesome. Yeah, there's like that's that's a lot of cannoli cream. <laughs> Pressing these chocolate chips so they don't fall out everywhere. Let's move on the the mini chocolate chips. Yes, I couldn't go with the regular size because I went with a mini cannoli, and any chocolate chips on a cannoli is just the move. That's not a mini cannoli. That's a normal cannoli. Not, it's not like a large cannoli. There was a large cannoli and a mini cannoli, and this was the mini. That. Nope. You know what? Yeah, I think so. That cream. It is epic. That is so fun. I would make a cannoli waffle if you would have a chance. Okay, absolutely nailed it with this one. It was definitely the simplest of all the creations, but I think that that's what made it work so incredibly well. The actual cream ratio to the waffle, I think was perfect for people with our preferences, and I think that this would work in so many applications. Like it would make great pancakes, crepes, French toast, ice cream sundae, anything. Definitely at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, swallowing can become very difficult after you've eaten this much food. But as far as this waffle goes, this is the item that I could see served in a restaurant and it being like a talked about item. Like if I went into a place and I saw someone with this stack of waffles, I would need to have it. I would say that that was the definition of sometimes the simplest goes a long way, or simplicity goes a long way. Because the bite with just the waffle, the cannoli cream, and the mini chocolate chips may have been the best bite of the day. It, it, I'm, I'm between that one and my cinnamon roll, I think, but I, I do think that that one there was simple done right. It was absolutely amazing. I couldn't, I couldn't have loved it more. Yeah, you know, we both went really rich. And oh, what, seriously. And what we both also did was go to Italy for this last round. All right, luckily, I did not go for cannoli. One second, I'm having, I'm like, having difficulty swallowing though. Last round. Okay. I went tiramisu. Tiramisu, okay. So, we've got this massive cup of tiramisu, which is feeling extra massive right now. Yes. To go with that, I brought chocolate covered espresso beans, 
It's which, been years. Which has been a long time since I've had them and they sound really intense right now, but it sounded really like a, like a really nice pairing. And then to go with that, I saw this mocha topped coffee foam. So I, I think it's just like mocha whipped cream. The, the thing looks like the, uh, the image on it, it almost looks like a root beer float. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't sound appealing. <clears throat> a root beer float with tiramisu that is. I'm gonna try this before putting it on it too. Okay. I'm getting more chocolate than anything. Mm. That's not really like whipped cream. It, it, it is in fact a foam. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, All right. interesting. Let's make it. All right, I'll do this part on camera. See what it looks like. All right, so here's the tiramisu and chocolate covered espresso beans. Those things are better than I thought they were gonna be. Or just not quite as bitter as I thought they would be. They're pretty bitter at the tail end. Yeah. This stuff is so interesting. I know. Okay, let's see how it all works together. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's very good. That is delicious. It is sophisticated though. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pick up on what this what this tastes like. That is not for the faint of palates. Hmm. This it tastes like melted chocolate ice cream. Kind of, yeah. yeah. And finally, for the last creation, we get something that resembles whipped cream onto a waffle. But now you guys have seen all six of our creations, so make sure to drop down in the comments and let us know which item you would have chosen for each round. If I could only have one again out of all of them, I think it would be my cinnamon roll one from round number one. I think the cinnamon roll, the cannoli, and the turtle cheesecake have to be the top three items. But you guys are gonna have to let us know, and while you're at it, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. These videos, from the idea to the final export, is just the two of us putting our hearts and souls into every single one. Like, this video took us like six days to pull together. So just show your, show your support to the channel by doing those two things and enjoy the rest. That was a really nice place to end. I think it was the, the, uh, the alcohol in the tiramisu and then the bitterness from the uh, chocolate covered espresso beans just kind of like tamed down the sweetness of everything, made it very balanced. It was like, a, yeah, it just was like, it was the least sweet of anything that we ate today, but in a great way. The eatability was there, the crunch of the uh, espresso beans was really nice, and then the soft texture of everything else. And that foam actually added a lot to it. That's what I was gonna say. I think that this was the, this was the star of that whole yeah. thing for me for some reason. It helped it all go down, the flavor was nice. It doesn't have much coffee flavor, but again, I kind of appreciated that. It yeah. just, again, helped kind of everything go down. But overall, I think that, you know, between the six rounds, you, or three rounds, you take two of them. Yeah, but I think that it's like the first and the last round, I think I marginally take them, but the second round, you took it in like, it was, it was just like yours was way better than mine. And then the other two rounds, mine was slightly better than yours. Yeah. So, so kind of interesting how that all plays out. But yeah, I'm very happy with both my first round and last round, uh, but my second round, not all that proud of it. It was a practicality thing, almost like in that Cookie Creations video. It was like my last round was just like, it just wasn't practical. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you definitely take first item, but you absolutely take last item at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to make sure to comment down below which one of these creations you'd like to try most. You can feel free to comment which round, what, which item from each round, or you can comment just like what the overall winner, winner was, or if you liked Pete's list or Nate's list more. Do whatever you want down there, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, as far as like comparing it to the cookies creation video, I really enjoyed seeing people's responses to who they would have chosen each round. Yes. So if I could steer you in a direction, definitely do that. But anyways, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, no, I, no, I just think I think they had a great time with it. I think that that was a lot of fun. Oh, and also if we've like, if we didn't mention it in the commentary where anything was, it'll be in the description box because people like to know where we got everything. And we got all this stuff from very many different places. So if we didn't mention something, it'll probably be down there. That's it. Yeah, well anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I had a good time. If you like waffles, if you like the video, if you like us, if you hate us, make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're watching right now and you watch our videos weekly. We love making these videos and we really like to continue making them for you. We will leave a playlist right here with uh, other creations videos that we've done before. Um, this is kind of a merge between a creation video and a food challenge though. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun doing something a little bit different. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you again in the next video.